Hello Neither. guys, what is up? My name is Zeno and I'm here joined by BRMP. Hello guys. And today we're taking a look at the CU Python Missile Destroyer. It's made by Surge, Surge and the S is a 5 and the E is a 3, so I'm gonna assume it's Surge. But Probably yeah, this one's Surge, a yeah. Bit. It's a pretty dope ship, especially because there's no mods on this thing at Indeed, all. Indeed, vanilla, as we low, PC, low NPC users like it. Woo! So, the Woo. ship details, very quickly. The name is the Python, the class is Destroyer, and the role is anti-capital ship. The environment is space, which is pretty um, obvious. Because it only has ion thrusters, so yeah, yeah. don't try and to land this. And it has a crew, a crew of uh, 12. It has a bunch of weapons and stuff. It also has a hydrogen-powered guided anti-ship projectile launcher. No. And that kind of does fulfill the role of destroyer. So this is one of the first ships that kind of classifies itself properly. I think so, yeah. So, let's take a look at the exterior. Do you note anything worth mentioning? Well, I really do like the way he did the backside uh, with the thrusters and all. Yeah, I, same. I like these little slopes he got there. Yeah. Here. Very uh, nice, new. I mean, I've seen it before, but it, it, it still looks very good. I also like the, the lights on the side and how they're differentiating. Are there lights on the side? Yeah, you have white, 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 gr green, like on the side, like bleeping, which looks very nice. Bit uh, overkill on the thrusters on the side, but overall, this is a very nice ship. Like these, these shield parts on the side. Oh, <laughs> here. <laughs> that really gets me up in the morning. These shield parts on the side. Like, well, it isn't a shield, but it looks like the engine is uh, separate blocks from the ship. Do you know what I mean? Where did you go? I already lost you. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like the engine is separate from the um, <laughs> the, the main the main body. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that looks okay. pretty well. It's, it's very awesome. heavily armored. <laughs> so. Well, it has yeah. to be because it's it's a Anti destroyer. Ship. Yeah, so. It's made to fight capital ships, so it definitely needs some pots on there to fend off enemy missiles. But I do think that these missile pla uh, the, the placement of the missile turrets isn't optimal. No. So, Indeed. It should be some on the side of the front here. That would be uh, way better. So you can cover the side. And down here, there are very few of them. Yeah. And I do notice that a lot of people keep thinking that their ship will always be um, level with the other ship. But it's still space, so... Three-dimensional, so... Yeah, you can turn every way you want. So you're never going to have the advantage you want to have. But in the front here, we can see some of these hydrogen mines. But let's not go into too much detail here, because we will see them in a bit, anyways. Probably. I do see a button here. <laughs> ah, An access panel, yeah. Well, let's uh, go into the ship. Have you actually already found the door yet? Because I haven't seen it. Well, that's going to be a part to cut out, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Uh, is that the door? No. Oh my god. I am gonna cut this out. <laughs> Pro probably, yeah. Okay. And we're back, guys. We did find a door in the end. Took us a minute or two. Exactly. And we did notice something else. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is very stupid. The ship is actually upside down. We placed it upside down because well, it was placed in the sun side and all. We thought this yeah, was so gonna be the top end. And it's, it's, it was. It's not. <laughs> so it, it, the orientation is like this. Basically, yeah, this the, is the top. Yeah. The, the ship. Look at. You can look at the gravity. You can see we drop down here. I I am assuming the ship isn't inverted, but let's go to the door and let's take a look at the inside. Actually, where is the door? I already lost, forgot here. where it was. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Are you uh, on the platform with me? Almost, almost. I'm almost there. Yes. Going. And then go the in. lovely Bro, yellow lights. things. I love it when people like attention to detail. Uh. What's up? Okay. Oh, there is oxygen. Nice, then we can take our helmets off. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, the interior is pretty basic here. A lot of interior blocks and this little conveyor surrounded entrance because conveyors do need to be everywhere. So this is pretty of course, basic. Of course, because it did say it was together. survival ready. So it's it's pretty nice. That, it has yeah. these things. <laughs> yeah, these things. These things. <laughs> hey. um, the, what? Oh wait, those are uh, spherical graffiti generators, I think. Yeah, I think so, as well. So... Let's uh, get up here. No idea where that's supposed... 
Well, we have three doors here, so we're gonna go to the right one first, okay. then the left one, and then the front one. So what I see here, down here, looks pretty um, interesting. What is this? Oh, this is a jump drive core. And there's oh. nothing in this chair, so <laughs> no reason to get in. It's just a <laughs> jump drive core. There are four jump drives on the ship. He has probably some, so, some It's probably some engineering section. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. Very Wait. nicely done, though, with the jump yeah. drive and the uh, console panels. This is kind of an engine. Looks really good. Does make me feel of a navy destroyer, like an old World War II ship. Indeed. I mean, the modern yeah. ones still have it set up like this, but you can't get a picture out of the head where they use the old ones. Really? Hmm. Uh, no. I think that's actually it's, I think the bridge. The bridge. Yeah, yes. it's, it's the bridge. So let's uh, take. Okay, cryopods. We have one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. Holy so shit! I think that's that a lot. On the other side, there's going to be another six for the twelve crew members. Sounds pretty logical to me, actually, to have that. Yeah, there is. So nothing overly special on that end. You're so fast, Captain. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so before we go into this main bridge, we can of course go in and appreciate it a bit. I, I do love how people uh, use these panels up here. Appreciate the bridge. <laughs> 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 I do like how they use this. Like you can see the damage, the turrets. There's oh, a lot of information yeah. here. So probably that script from M Master, I, if I recall correctly is running right i have no clue you're more mod involved than i am let's Not go really. down no, here th that's one of those scripts um uh basically yeah it just does that with the lcds but i'm not sure actually if it's from m master or not it's been too long since Maybe i actually use it yeah, it looks pretty good though i do like it when people use it Especially, regardless of yeah. who it is of. <laughs> this is kind of a cross section i don't I've, it's an oxygen room really cool Nothing overly special. Here's a bit Is of it? a power room. Jesus. Well, I guess you kind of do need power with a ship like this. But... Sure you do. And I think we're heading slowly into the front. I mean, more power over here. Yeah. Heavy I think armor? this is just for... Yeah, I think this is like for the uh, nuclear generators. That This is kind of a repair section. Or maybe this is just the uh, second no, and it... third engine bay. Like. No, but there's only one. I mean... Literally, there's only like this is in the front end of the ship, or in the back end. So this is. Oh, this is oh the front, God. right? I have. I'm so disoriented. Same. I don't even well, know how to get I out anymore. But I do think that that is because <laughs> if it gets hurt by anything, then you kind of have this buffer zone in here, which is so that if this door does blows up, you're not gonna lose oxygen in the entire ship. That makes sense. That's why you always want to have like many doors. Yeah. Just to seal off any room, which is kind of important. This is also very nice, like very much level designy more than it is aesthetic design. Yeah. Where you give the player the feel that there's more space, that but they can't access it. A lot of old games used to do that. Oh. <laughs> and more engineering base. Also pretty cool with these um sorry. Oh, 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 what, what? With these um flaps on the side as it were. By the way, I just noticed I think that the doors are actually also running some kind of script that they close yeah. automatically within a few seconds. But the, the, a lot of people do it now, and I, I think it's a very good addition. Oh, and here we, of course, have the mad room. Now, I could see this be the back of and the front. Oh my god, it's so confusing. It's very confusing. We're just gonna have to see in a little bit. So, let's go up here. <laughs> That's oh, wait, we have around. been already here. Yeah, we have been already. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? Uh, great, great English, I know. <laughs> yes, you can bleed it. <laughs> Where so, did, did you go upstairs? Did you, yeah, you go up. This is kind of a, a like, hello, can I help you? Oh, there's. Yeah. The door closed for me. Okay, what is it? Okay, this is kind of awkward. This is something. Um, I mean, I get, I get why you did it. You might want to get in here for a bit. In the other one. Okay, let me see. So let's go over this for a bit. What you have right here is BRMP. Yeah, Get out. <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what BRMP also just saw on uh, your guys' screen, who was watching on his end, is that this isn't the flight command. This is the front section, what I'm looking at right now. Uh -huh. that, and these the are all these um, like engineering consoles for the support crew. But this one is the main console. However, he took a flight console, which, of course, you can press V. But Actually, that's pretty it's logical pretty... to do because you have all this information or all this information. Oh yeah, you, you can see, look around. And you're moving the ship, aren't you? Oh yes, yes. I'm also <laughs> moving ahead. Oh wait, no, no, you're absolutely right. This is actually really smart, so you can see the um, 
yeah. the information. That, that's yeah. probably why he did it. That's pretty cool. Is there actually a camera on there? Because I noticed that yeah. there were cameras on the sides uh, of the ship. There but... is a front camera, of course. There but... is turrets turning on and off. There is welders for the front section and projector block for the front section. So I can actually have that mine being built. That's interesting. That's not based on a timer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Normally, yeah. like everything like else. Group, everything else on this ship is run by a timer. But, but this th is the thing you safe. want. <laughs> because if the timer breaks, then you have to like reposition it. It's better maybe to do it uh, the hard way. I mean, you might lose one or two seconds on it, but still, it might be better to do it this way than when you lose the time. You don't have to take like a minute to reorganize. That's true, but if you don't use a timer and you mess up some timing, yeah, then you potentially can blow up your own damn ship. That's true. You're moving sure. again, aren't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. But you can also, as you can see, um, as you can see, turn off uh, some lights. Oh, the side lights. You can kind of go into stealth mode. You can see Ooh, it. In a yeah. You I can guess. turn off the gravity. You can turn on the jump drive. You can turn off the. Um, Oxygen, you can turn on and off the missile turret. You can enter one camera, which is situated in the um, front section. You have a timer block as well. Uh, let me actually see what it does. Reload start timer. I think there is a timer located. Like okay, that, does yeah. it. I that would make sense. Manual and timer. And missile launch program oh. run. So let's. You, why don't you just go over all that stuff as well in there? Oh yeah, there's loads of stuff in there. Only the first two are filled though, like have something in them. Oh yeah, miss it. Oh wait, so he actually made a whole program to launch the... Yeah. Not only do he you just uses timer. launch it or should I launch it? Uh, do you want to launch it, I guess? Yeah, do I want to launch it? Well, I don't know, do you yeah, want to yeah. launch it? <laughs> I do okay, want to launch it. You're going to launch it, okay. I'm going to go outside. Like, like, let me go Wh outside. Why don't you just go into a seat and hop into third person view? You always want to have the hard way. No, <laughs> you're gonna have the hard way. You want to find your way outside, and then. Okay. Okay. Do it. Press uh, two. Well, missile launch program. That's the the program. Okay. Itself. Sure. Press it. Okay. But I think you first need to construct a mine since it isn't built yet. Yeah, but that that does the thing. I, it's a. I think. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Stop. Fuck it. Stop. Just press the thing. Press two. No, I pressed one. I'm a rebel. <laughs> okay, press yeah. two. Press two. Okay, I'm pressing two. Oh yeah, two actually does work. Okay. Now press one. For some reason, I can't look in straight in front of the thing, and then it just puts me back into. Dude, everything is kind of coming to yeah. stop for me. What happened? What's happening? I'm I'm trying to take a look at the front of the ship because I don't want to <laughs> see what's happening, but I. Every time I come in front of the ship, it's like me, don't. Yeah, it's like lag, isn't it? No, it's not really lag. It just puts me back to the side view of it. Oh yeah, same for me. What the fuck? That's interesting and fucking Oh, that's annoying. because the shit, the, the little drone is in front of there now. Uh, probably. Run the launch program. Okay, launching. Oh. Let's actually follow that with a bit of a. Um, if I'm not mistaken, mode. where I. Oh, but Aim it is thing. very inaccurate. It is? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Is it coming after us? No. Dude, it I shouldn't. think it is coming after us. Is it turning around? Yeah, it's turning around. What? Let's run! <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck? I mean, it's missile guided. I mean, I think it's scripted to actually find a ship. Although no. it only has two thrusters. I so if I... Um get what he's saying down in this description then where you point the ship that's, that's where the missile will go so if we they're pointing at anything so the only ship he found was our ship and because we were no, but in the back of the missile the missile is going to flip it's, it's not well i moved the ship a bit but... no i think you're right that it only fires at the thing in front of you we're actually going to test that so we will be right back guys and let us place a ship down shall we oh we're gonna destroy yeah. some shit. <laughs> ik hou echt van die geen schaduwmodus. Ja, het, het, het ziet er ook zoveel beter uit voor mij. Want bij die, die schaduw, het, het, het glitchte als een gek, zeg maar. Ik, ik heb zelfs nu ook nog steeds met die gele, of met die deur, zeg maar, die outline, dat geel gebeuren. Dat loopt ja. ook echt te spezen als een gek. <laughs> dat kan. Hoeveel frames heb je nu totaal? 
ik, ik loop volgens mij, als ik niet vergis, richting 20. Oh nee. Netjes. Nu niet. Ik loop op 60 tegenwoordig met de nieuwe, de, met de nieuwe optimization. Ja, Oké, okay, nice. um, wat we doen, als jij kan in principe ook in spec delen, denk ik. En dan kunnen we kijken ja, wat er missen. Ik heb dat doet. net geprobeerd, maar ik kan. Uh, het is toch gewoon F8? 9 F8. en dan F8. Nee, ik, ik kan niet in spectator. Ja, jij hebt in ieder geval de ship view nog dan. Maar ja, je ziet dat schip daarvoor? Oh, je hebt er al eentje geplaatst. Oké, okay, uh, ik ga ons weer ernaast, hè. Ja? Sure. And guys, we're back. Quickly we're setting are up. back. Back, back. back, back. back, back. back, back. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, we're uh, back and we're gonna launch the uh, missile, I guess. So we're running I think the so. program again. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to look through camera and try and aim this thing. No, no, don't aim it at it. Just aim it off. No, no, just aim, aim it off slightly because it's a heat-seeking missile, so it should oh, yeah. find its yeah, way. Yeah, it to should the ship. find its own way. So yeah. uh, I think it might be too close though because the missile activated after a few, like a mild last time. So well, would you try it? Try it? Try it? I'll back up a bit. Okay, it's now. not fast backing up though. You're not pressing it continuously though. I am. Okay, now well, stop the ship and fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there yeah. was one loaded, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's now so going if after I something. if I turn, oh, I turn the ship and it's actually turning. Uh, yeah. It's not doing anything. What's well, doing? The missile some... is still going straight. Last time it actually went off. Oh, for me it's actually doing some weird stuff, turning around, flipping, but it did not hit the thing. Uh. Well, what we'll have to do now, aim it at the ship. We'll just go for it directly. The heat seeking, of course, doesn't work for us. But I'm pretty sure the, the designer of the ship does have a way to make it work. So I do want to probably. state that his design is probably better than us testing it. <laughs> we're, we're just idiots and don't know how it works, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm kind of positioning. Oh, sorry, I fired again. Oh, no, no, I mean uh, to my subscribers. I was really yeah. epileptical warning this year. <laughs> epileptical. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, because of the oh, that's really nice. Like it's kind of a ram because of those um, yeah, because of those little blocks there. That did loads of damage, I guess. Yeah, but because of those um, could, could you build Ooh, weird one? Weird wireframes. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah, because of those little uh, blocks in the front, which is like these um, blast shield blocks. And the computer in the most front, that means that the computer is gonna get, the, or the coding thing and timer shit and control shit is gonna get destroyed immediately. Mm. However, that means the hydrogen thrusters will continue to fire and basically you will push through the enemy. Probably, yeah. Pretty much plus, like, push through him. If just, it goes you'll just keep yeah. going till the ship literally cannot keep going. To infinite and beyond. Although it won't work in survival because it doesn't have a hydrogen tank. Oh no, it does have. Uh, some yeah, I think it does have generators. Actually, so. Yeah. No. Great design. Yeah. Connectors in here. That works. I'm actually gonna see if I can try and find my way out. So. Oh, I can actually that's take why you can also turn on and off the oxygen generators in the ship, so you can refuel if you are low on it. That makes loads of sense now. Well, guys, I do think we are gonna end it here. I think so. Yeah. So, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to check out BRMP's channel in the description. And of course, the other way around, if you're watching on my end. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was really, really thinking you were not done with your sentence there. But oh. <laughs> no? Sorry. Ah. No, but yeah, indeed, check us out. And uh, if you truly did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, feel free to just bugger off. <laughs> yeah, what else? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you all for watching, and we truly hope to see you next time. Exactly. I've been Zeno. And PRP. Bye. I can't find my way out, goddammit. <laughs>